Now arriving at Yi Jiang Tower. Hi, welcome to Goofy Friends Inc. My name is RJ, and today I'm going to be talking about my personal top 10 favorite dog breeds. So, for number 10, um, I put down the Shiba Inu. So, the Shiba Inus from Japan, they're very independent. So, they, they kind of stick to what they think is right, which isn't necessarily the best way to go. Um, and just frankly, they're bad listeners. So, they don't tend to listen well. If you will call them, it's like you can never be sure. They may respond, they may come to you, they probably won't. But, um, you know, it, it's a risk you have to take. Okay, for number nine, um, I put down the pug. The pug is from China. So, the temperament of the pug. Pugs are very strong-willed. Like the Shiba Inu, they tend to do what they like. With my personal experience with pugs, they're easier to deal with than Shiba Inus, but they're very strong-willed still and very lazy. So, the reason why I never wanted a pug was just this kind of thing that freaked me out. Their eye can pop out. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. I'll show a picture right now if I can find it. There'll be a picture right there But their eye can pop out and that tends to be that that really freaks me out That like if you hug them too tight their eye will pop out and you have to push it back in that it's just It's freaky and it's true. It sounds like I made it up, but I swear I didn't make it up You can go look it up for number eight. I put down the Jack Russell Terrier. They're extremely intelligent athletic, fearless, and very vocal. What I mean by vocal is they tend to kind of bark a lot. They talk a lot for a dog. Um, they can be really moody though. So with my personal experience with Jack Russell, they tend to be kind of annoying, um, but they're really sweet dogs and they're really intelligent and uh, they're a great dog. So that's my number eight spot. For number seven, um, I put down the Lab or Labrador Retriever. So they come from the United Kingdom and Canada, and they're very even-tempered, and they're a really easy dog to handle, great for families. So I'm sure that everybody's kind of dealt with a lab in their life. They're kind of like, in my opinion, the American dog. Almost every family with dogs probably has or has had a lab. When you think of dog, at least when I think of dog, I think of lab, because they're just kind of simple, you know, uh, and they don't have a huge personality, but they're just very, like, a very steady choice if you're getting a dog. For number six, I put the Golden Retriever. So the Golden Retriever actually comes from Scotland. They tend to look a lot like the Lab or Labrador Retriever. They are really friendly, so I call them the BFG because they're kind of like a big friendly giant. They can put an egg in their mouth, and they can carry it all the way over to you without cracking the egg. So they're really gentle, they're really athletic, and they're very intelligent. For number five, I put the Siberian Husky. The Siberian Husky comes from Russia, um, well, Siberia to be specific, and they're good with children, and they tend to dig a lot. They, they are called the escape artists, and they tend to kind of get out of tight spaces, and uh, if you have a backyard, there will be a lot of holes in it. Um, the reason why I put this so high up for number five on my list is because I personally just love the look of the Siberian Husky along with the Shiba Inu. I just love the way they look and I loved it so much that I put it for my number five spot. For number four, I put the Westie or West Highland White Terrier Dog. So they come from Scotland and I have a Westie named Juno. Well, she's half Westie, half Maltese we think, but they're very hard to train and they're stubborn. So that's the downside of the Westie. But the good things are they make great watchdogs and they're very independent and loyal. My personal experience, like I said, I have a Westie and they definitely are very hard to train. But I think that it kind of, that's kind of the price for what you get because they're really great dogs. They're really loyal. They can be a little annoying sometimes because they kind of won't leave you alone. But they're great dogs and uh, really cute. For number three, I put down the Border Collie. So the Border Collie comes from the United Kingdom, and they're very athletic dogs. They're really smart, they can do a ton of tricks. I've seen them jump on people's backs. They're actually 
considered most intelligent dog breed in the world. For number two, I put down the German Shepherd. The German Shepherd comes from Germany, obviously, and uh, their temperament can vary. They're mostly very self-assured and they're very loyal. They're actually called police dogs, also known as canines, and they're extremely intelligent and shown in a lot of movies and are a pretty awesome dog. And lastly, for my number one spot, I put down the Boxer. And the Boxer also comes from Germany. The temperament of a Boxer is very bright, energetic, and fun. They're very athletic dogs, so you're gonna need to exercise a lot along with the Border Collie. I took this directly from a video, but they're kind of like uh, very fun three-year-olds that never really grow up. And I kind of agree with that. They're so energetic, but they kind of are just like a really big three-year-old. Um, they're very strong dogs. They're not really aggressive. And uh, a fact about them is they actually tend to be better with smaller dogs or puppies. They're better with them than adult dogs. So uh, if you have a smaller dog and you're looking to get another dog, I guess you might get a boxer because they tend to be better with smaller dogs and uh, not as good with uh, bigger dogs. So those were just my personal top 10 dog breeds. It's just purely my opinion. I hope you enjoyed the video um, and I hope you enjoyed the Overwatch gameplay going on in the background. So be sure to leave a like, uh, share, subscribe, and uh, comment. You can tell me what your favorite dog breeds are. That would be great. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Uh, we have some great stuff coming up. We have some great animations coming up. We're taking animation classes. We're doing all this stuff. And it's going to be great content coming out. So remember to stay subscribed. And I will see you in the next video.